here guys and welcome to Petrol Ped and if you're following the journey of me modifying my Mini, welcome back because in the last video we visited the guys at Quaife to pick up that. So that is my new limited slip diff. We visited the factory, we learned all about how diffs work and why you should fit one to your car. And I've now driven some four and a half to five hours north to visit my friends at Lowen because today that gets fitted to the Ruby Roadster, to the Mini. And I have a feeling it's going to make a dramatic difference in terms of handling and performance. And I honestly can't wait, but we're also fitting something else quite special as well. So keep tuned and we'll watch the transformation process. Ruby is about to go next level. Ryan, we have arrived at Lowen. I have the diff in my hands. Quite a heavy old box that. So um, it's quite a long job today. So I'm gonna go and jump in the office, um, get the car in the workshop as soon as we can. Um, I had to get it nice and early. It's just before nine o'clock because we have a full day of work on old Ruby Roadster over there. A couple of other really nice uh, little cars over there having a stage one and a stage two respectively. So should be lots of people to talk to, lots of cars to see. Should be a good day, right? I'm gonna head inside, I'm gonna get a brew as well. Mark stealing my car. Dory. Okay, so we are through into the workshop. Ruby is up on the uh, lift and they've started to basically take it to bits. <laughs> Which is always, there's an awful lot more stuff coming off this car than I thought. But what I wanted to try and show you before to do the work and this is uh, one of the triggers for me doing this work is the is this leak here so this is the kind of diffs inside here and i we noticed this well actually when we did the stage two map so i have a leak anyway i would have had to have that sorted out anyway so while i'm doing that it kind of makes sense to do the diff so while we're doing the diff which is just there it kind of makes sense to do the clutch. So we're actually putting an uprated clutch in it at the same time. And because everything's in bits, I'm gonna put some Mintex pads on just to help with stopping power. So quite a lot of work being done today. And if we've got time, we're also gonna do a little bit of work on the alignment and the ride height of the car because uh, these guys are just experts and they're gonna make her very, very special. There's a big hole at the back of my car. <laughs> One of the things I did not expect them to have to do is basically to get access to all the things they need to do at the front of the car, they've had to remove the exhaust. So this is one of the things about diff and clutch is getting access and getting the parts fitted. There's a lot of work. We're gonna be here all day pretty much doing this. And as we are taking everything apart, the modifications I'm doing today are, um, how do I put it, uh, evolving slightly. Stay tuned. Front subframe, uh, steering rack, anti-roll bar, all taken out. Okay, so while this is out, I've decided to replace the wishbone bushes here and the anti-roll bar bushes here. Um, that should just give me a much more direct steering, apparently. Um, and you can kind of see, if I just came in to do those two items on their own, the amount of work to get this front assembly off to get access to them is huge. So while it's off, it's actually a fairly simple process of just changing those. So that should sharpen up my steering response a huge amount. So now we've got a bit of a view underneath the car. Basically the diff itself sits in this housing here and the clutch sits in there. So all of this has got to basically come apart. They just drain the oil out of the gearbox and diff assembly there. But you can kind of see where the kind of leakage, we've got quite a lot of oil leak there, so that should hopefully all be sorted out. Okay, so this looks serious because there's an engine about to be dropped out the bottom of the car. Yeah. 
So now this is off and in better light. You can really see the extent of the oil leak I had. So it's probably just as well that I'm getting the diff changed, to be honest, because we can change the seals at the same time. Oh, now that is probably the best shot of an open diff ever. <laughs> there we go. So that is my old diff and you can kind of see it's a completely open diff. We'll put the new unit next to that just to kind of show you the difference. And then obviously we've then got exposed my gearbox, which is actually the first time I've seen inside my gearbox. No surprise really. I would love to be able to tell you about how that works, but gearboxes are a complete and utter mystery to me. Now uh, look, we're unwrapping the virgin diff. There you go. Old diff, new diff. We get a good old deep clean as well, and in goes. This blows. We've got a nice bit of Loctite around the outside. So the new diff is in the gearbox. So we've left that in the um, uh, workshop room, and we've come out because now we're going to replace the clutch. So that clutch has done 52,000 miles, but it's just, although it's not slipping at the moment, it just needs, I just think it needs upgrading to be able to deal with the torque and power asking to go through it. So next thing, this is coming out. So apparently this isn't too bad, but What's in that box is much, much better. So now the clutch is off, what's left behind is the flywheel and we're putting a dual mass flywheel on as well. So that's gonna have to come off as well. So here we go, the new clutch, a TTB racing clutch. I think it's gonna make an absolutely huge difference to being able to apply the power. So the diff's gonna help me get the power down, but the clutch, I'm just gonna have far more confidence opening the taps because She's just not really been happy with the amount of torque I've been putting through her up till now. So first thing to go on is a new lightweight flywheel which should improve I guess throttle response and now for those of you who watch my performance pack 2 fitting video this gentleman Jack you will uh, recognize him. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently you've been recognized a few times. Yeah quite a few now. Get in. Hopefully some more. <laughs> So flywheel in, clutch plate. Yeah. Yeah. The thing that amazes me about a clutch is in essence it's quite a simple component but it's just an absolute nightmare to get to. You have to take everything apart. So exciting part, new clutch in, diff is in the gearbox, so we're now going to basically offer up the gearbox to the engine, and that is that job done. We can then move on to other things. And she's on. She just needs screw. You're going to just stay there for a whole day. Look. <laughs> Okay, we are back in the workshop because next up is something I actually hadn't planned today at all, but then Mark from Lowen kind of suggested that the front wishbone rear bush, well, we could maybe look at changing those. So that's what we're doing. We're having PowerFlex bushes put into those and that should sharpen up the uh, front end of the car. In fact, Jack will probably tell me exactly what it's gonna do. Yeah, so it'll stiffen up the front a bit and stop the float in us yeah. when you're going on the road and it'll make it feel a lot, lot better. 
we like that that wasn't on the plan this is like you know this modification thing where I thought I might map the car and then then it kind of snowballed this is another one of those snowballs but while the car's in bit it makes sense to do it magic we now have power flex bushes and these are the old ones so that's them in situ and then the next thing we've got the antique roll bar bushes which are much smaller and don't need a press to get them on and off and that is all the bushes done Everything's back in uh, and on underneath the car and now we're moving on to this afternoon's work if you like and I guess first order of the day is I'm going to upgrade the brake pads, not the discs, discs are fine but I'm just going to put Mintex pads in there just to give a bit more bite and a bit more stopping power. When I was here last time I drove uh, Penny the demo car and that had Mintex pads in I really like the feel and, and the brief amount of track time I had with Ruby so far just it's got so much more go now, I just want to be able to stop a bit better. So, Mintex pads just going on the front, not doing anything with the rear brakes at all. So, while we've got the wheels off, we are upgrading the brake pads with some Mintex. So, the, are these just a softer pad, are they, or what, what's the, they'll just have a bit more bite? A lot more bite, and uh, you'll, you'll, you'll have like a lot more faith in your brakes, and you'll be able to stop a lot better. Good. Your brakes are faster. Good. So we're putting it all back now, but there's quite a lot of stuff has to come out the kind of top half of the engine bay to enable us to drop the gearbox. So there's there's three screws at the top or three bolts at the top here. And then to get the subframe off, you have to undo the steering uh, rack, uh, which is just down there. So <laughs> even though we were accessing it from the bottom of the engine bay, basically you're having to put it all back together again. <laughs> so. This is why I love coming to Lowen. So while the guys are putting uh, the engine back together, um, basically they were inspecting the auxiliary belt. Now I don't know whether that will come out, I'll do a close up on it in a moment. But there's a very small hole in the belt, probably caused by a stone flying up. Um, now whilst the belt isn't broken, there's a possibility that hole could obviously get bigger. So we've had to replace the auxiliary belt, which as a line item probably isn't that expensive, but um, just a brilliant spot by them because, you know, had that gone, I could have led to all kinds of problems. Okay, so we have completed quite a lot of jobs. So diff in, clutch in, power flex bushes in, Mintex pads in, and auxiliary belt chains because the one that was on there had a bit of a hole in it. What we're going to do now is... Um, these guys are absolutely expert at setting up minis um, and one of the things that they could kind of when I arrived they said look if that was our car we would change the ride height slightly and put a little bit of rake in the car so what we're basically going to do now put the wheels back on and, and kind of adjust the BC racing coilovers uh, and the plan is to raise the ride height of the rear just a, a, an inch maybe um, just to give it a little bit of rake and then also we're going to just adjust the dampness softening um, and then we're going to do a full wheel alignment and set the car up absolutely tip top. So I cannot wait to drive the car after all of this work's been done because I honestly think she's going to be completely transformed. So we have adjusted the coilovers. We've basically lengthened them at the back by 15 mil and at the front by five mil. So we should have a little bit of rake in the car. And then the other thing, we've softened them off a little bit. So they were set halfway between hard and soft, and now they are halfway between midpoint and soft. So what we're gonna do now is basically drop the car and see how she lies. So the moment of truth. Because basically the, the first thing the guy said when I arrived is the car was just, for their experience, riding just a bit too low at the back. 
so hopefully we'll have a little bit more rake on the car as it drops back down again oh that's loads better that that that's noticeable straight away isn't it yes so let's just have a look at gap wise i've got a couple of fingers worth in there about three fingers worth in there i am so happy with the new stance you're just sitting really really lovely now what we're going to do now is basically uh, a complete geometry setup these guys are experts at setting up minis as you would expect so we're going to do a fast road setup on this and i think that is going to completely transform the car there's so many things we've done to the car today that means my driving experience on the way home is going to be very very different to my driving experience on the way here So geometry alignment is all done. She is being dropped off the lift. The next thing, Jack is gonna take her up the road for a test drive. There's quite a lot of things to test actually, but the setup that we put on the car is, a, is what they call their fast road setup. So she should have completely different handling um, and certainly a much different stance. Much more rake on the car. You might be able to spot um, in terms of how much wheel arch gap there is at the back compared with the front and a lot more kind of aggressive road um, handling. So um, I will let Jack take her out up the road and then he can report back. I just can't wait to drive her now. And they're back. Well, I was gonna find out whether it's any good or not. Yeah, I'm back in. Well. Fantastic. Yeah. I like you really enjoyed it. Good. Really happy with it. It drives great. Excellent. So, yeah. Right, and guys, we have completed a day's work. Connor and Jack have been epic today. I cannot believe the amount of work you've done. I really can't. I think it was quite a lot. The original plan was to just fit the diff and the clutch, but then we decided, or the guys here at Lowen decided that no, they could do the suspension setup. Then we put bushes in, which wasn't in the plan. Yeah. And uh, the belt change wasn't in the plan. No. The brake pads were, uh, but the alignment at the end definitely wasn't in the plan. No. So it absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to drive this. So huge thank you uh, to you guys for just mega, mega day. Mega thank you to the guys at Lowen. <laughs> we, we've now got Mark from Lowen driving the Lowen uh, race car, as you do. <laughs> So um, my next video will be, I'm going to need to do a first drive video separate to this because there's going to be so much to talk about, but I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. By the way, these two stunning minis either side of Ruby are these chaps' cars and they are very cool. Very, and they're very tuned as well, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> As you'd expect. Where do I work, Lowen? I'm going to chew my mini. But yes, I will see you on the next film, guys. You take care. Drive safe. <laughs>